Advancing quantum computing to accelerate scientific research. Since it emerged in the 1980s, quantum computing has promised to transform how we process information. The technology is centered on the fact that quantum particles, such as electrons, exist in superpositions of states. On classical computers, the basic unit of information is a bit, which takes on the binary values 0 or 1. On quantum computers, quantum bits, also known as qubits, are the information carriers. Much like bits, we read binary outcomes of 0 or 1 for each qubit. However, in contrast to bits, qubits can exist in the form of superposition of logical values 0 and 1. This means we can encode much more information in a qubit. Within a collection of qubits, superposition also leads to quantum correlations among qubits, which are stronger than correlations within a collection of bits. Superposition and strong correlations are how quantum computers can provide extremely fast processing speeds. To realize computations, qubits' states can be used in quantum logic gates, which process an input state according to an algorithm. In 1998, both qubits and quantum logic gates were realized experimentally for the first time. Researchers then began to develop new algorithms, specially designed for operations using qubits. At the time, however, the widespread adoption of these techniques still seemed far off, due to errors introduced by the surrounding environment. If uncorrected, these errors cause qubits to lose their information, rendering computations useless. New methods were developed to correct these errors, but were costly and time-consuming. Quantum computing was limited to specialized research labs until 2011, when the first quantum annealer was commercialized. Quantum annealers are a type of quantum computer that can obtain solutions to complex mathematical problems. Their availability spurned a surge in interest for quantum computing. In 2016, a cloud system was developed based on quantum logic gates, enabling users around the world to pool their resources, expanding the use of quantum computers. However, without specific knowledge of the quantum processes involved, researchers in biology, chemistry, materials science and drug development couldn't use the technology. Now, the Q4Q team at the University of Southern California, University of North Texas and Central Michigan University aims to build on these advances by exploring how software and algorithms designed for quantum computers can be adapted to suit the needs of applied scientists. In their projects, the Q4Q researchers aim to develop quantum computing techniques that will allow researchers to probe how matter responds to external perturbations such as lasers and other light sources. Elsewhere, their accessible quantum software would be useful for designing pharmaceutical drugs. By ascertaining how reactions between organic and biological molecules unfold within simulations, researchers could engineer drugs that are tailored to treating certain conditions. The ability to simulate these reactions could also lead to advances in the field of biology as a whole, where processes involving complex molecules are critical to the function of living organisms. Finally, by identifying how to precisely engineer structures to display certain properties, researchers could tailor new materials with desirable characteristics, including efficiency and environmental sustainability. Once the Q4Q team, complemented by other teams worldwide, have achieved their goals, scientists in many different fields could soon be advancing their research using quantum technologies.